Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nanji. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at Chips, the 1977 through 1980s television show. This is one that a lot of people have requested. I'm talking about so many guys and gals. And when I was a little kid, around five, six years old, I used to watch this show, not every single week, but very, very often after I Love Lucy and many of the other ones that I also cover on this channel. So make sure to browse and see other classic shows that you're going to absolutely love. That's what I do here. I dive deep into these shows. I am happy to say I'm giving away a season three DVD set for the show Chips. I will let you know how to participate in this video. So make sure to watch the entire video to know how you can win. Now I'm going to focus on the actual headquarters, the CHP headquarters for the show Chips. Now was this behind a movie studio? Was it a sound stage? I'm going to go through all of it for you in regards to this exterior location. We're not going to talk about any interior locations. Most of the show was actually shot outside on real Los Angeles highways. That's part of the show and that's really, really cool. It's kind of a rarity for television shows, especially classic shows, which are mostly done indoors and they fake an outdoor look. But no, this show, as I mentioned, was mostly outdoors. And whenever they came to the headquarters, I always loved it. It was one of my favorite places because you saw all the all the CHP motorcycles and cars and everything. I want to show you where this is. Now you may be surprised to find out that this is an actual CHP headquartered location. What I mean headquarters means like a base or I don't know. I don't know the technical lingo. You guys and gals can tell me in the comments down below. Whenever Ponch and Baker were done with their shift, they would head back to headquarters, they would gas up the motorcycles, take it to the mechanic shop, or they would even go, of course, with their sergeant, where they would have briefings, things like that. But these exterior locations, uh, or this exterior location, was used a lot. Now, I was very surprised, as I mentioned, to find out that this is a real California Highway Patrol location. Um, it is used. It is still used to this very day. The address is 777-777 West Washington Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. I'm going to show it all to you so that you can see all the shots that I'm showing to you are from the actual show in the building. Very little has changed. I'm not going to go into super detail about look at the door, look at the wall. I know a lot of you know the show, so you'll be able to do that yourselves. I just want to give you kind of a bird's eye view of what it looks today, comparing these images that you're seeing right now to what it looks like in 2020 when this video was made. So this is where we will begin, guys and gals, on West Washington Boulevard. Again, this is what's happening or how it looks like right now in 2020. Um, it's not apparent that this is where they film chips. Like I've driven down the street actually many, many times and have never known or noticed this. Notice here it says not a through street, but this is how they would have entered. That is Eric Estrada and um, Larry Wilcox. So they would have come in through this way on Cherry Street. And if you even come a little closer, there's a limit to how close we can come, of course, because this is a California Highway Patrol station. So there is limited amount of stuff um, that we can see. But this would be the entrance here. They used to have a gate here. And then this is where they were gassing up. I had a image of that earlier. And this, they would come in, CHP station, this would be the building. Now they actually did tear down this building back in 2002 and rebuilt it in a different way, but there are similarities to it, so it's not drastically different. Now what I love about this is that you're able um, to see what, um, just so many cool things, all these, a lot of these overpasses and so forth. Now, if you remember, there's a gate here, but they changed it up because these you would see are normal cars. So this is how the public can go in here. And then the public can actually make contact with the officers and so forth. But then the officers have a separate entrance over here. So they've kind of changed it up just a little bit. That's why the cameras are able to basically go this far. But after that, this is off limit. So they moved everything just back a little bit. And now we have a bird's eye view of what we just saw, guys and gals. We have Washington and Cherry. This would be the entrance. They would come under the underpass here. And then, boom, this is where they would come in. This is the gate that we had, the popular gate. Remember, the pump would be in a different area. If I switch over to this side, the pump would be over here. And then, of course, you can see that this building is a lot smaller, so they changed 
uh, the way of it. So basically this is like an officer's only area and then this would be like a visitor's area. I'm sure they could park some of their normal everyday vehicles here, but it's that's why they tore it down to make it very different. But this is essentially the building um, that um, that is used or that that was housing uh, the officers and this would be the entrance where of course you see the sergeant and so forth this um, ramp was not there of course this is for um, handicap access and so forth the steps but there's a similar look to the building again the the roof was different it was pretty much flat um, it wasn't this curved type building but what's great is that if you zoom out you see a lot of the highways you see the reason why they use this, because an easy way to get on the highways, if I zoom out even more, we call these um, freeways by the number. So we just say this is the 10, this is the 110. So the crossing of the 10 and 110. And so this goes um, to very different parts of the city and the 110. So this is a very important fork in the road. The 10 takes you to the 405, pretty much the biggest interstate highway we have and so forth so this is really 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 quick access for them the ramps are just over here and so yeah i hope you like this i hope you enjoy this i want to talk more about chips get more into the show i hope you enjoyed this taking a look at um where this is oh this is a cool view i didn't expect this so yeah so this is a fuel pump you see how it was changed and they have smaller buildings for the officers and this would be um i'm sure the officers use this too but they're kind of keeping the public away from the officers that's a philosophy behind that and if you did like this don't forget to leave the video a big thumbs up for more content we'll see you next time guys and gals and if you want to know how to win the DVD, it is super simple. You must be a subscriber to this YouTube channel, Rick9G. All you have to do is right below, hit that red subscribe button. If you've already done it previously, then you're all good. But if you haven't, you have to hit that red subscribe button. And it's absolutely free to do so. You hit the like button. That's the second thing you do, that big thumbs up. And then leave a comment down below with chips in the comment as long as the word chips is there you are eligible and then finally in the description not as a comment but in the description i have a link where you can leave your contact information i also need that for you to be eligible why so that i can pick you so that i know where to send the dvd and i know who the winner is so i need all those things makes it so much easier for me it's all confidential of course i've done many giveaways so don't worry about it we'll see you next time best of luck in the giveaway and most importantly be hopeful thank you to my diamond tier patrons andrew b ricky and david d and thank you to every single one of my patrons where i have exclusive content be sure to look in the description below for merchandise patreon exclusive content as well as playlists where you can find other tv shows and sitcoms that i think you'll enjoy we'll see you all next time